Hello and welcome to a brief demonstration of managed file transfer using IBM WebSphere MQ File Transfer Edition. Today I'm going to show you how this new product can make transferring files reliable and auditable even across different operating systems and platforms in a user-friendly way. This is the setup I'm going to use. I'll be transferring files between a Windows XP machine and an IBM System Z machine running ZOS. The product supports a wide range of platforms. On each machine I'm running WebSphere MQ File Transfer Edition with an underlying MQQ manager. This is just a simple managed file transfer solution. In practice I could have a network of machines sending files from anywhere across an MQ File Transfer Edition backbone. So let's take a look at the product itself. This is Eclipse-based graphical tooling for WebSphere MQ with additional file transfer edition capabilities. This tooling enables you to create, monitor and audit your file transfers. I'm going to use this tooling to create a transfer of a text file from my Windows machine to the ZOS machine. Here is the text file I'm going to transfer. So let's create a file transfer. I can right click here and bring up the file transfer wizard. First I choose the source of the file by selecting the name of the file transfer agent running on that machine from the drop down list. This list is populated automatically so I don't have to remember the names of the places I can send files to and from. I'll choose the agent running on my Windows XP box as the source. It's called Agent Windows. We next need to enter the path where the file is. In this case it's C, FTE Jobs, Start, TestFile.txt. Now I'll choose the destination agent on my ZOS box called Agent ZOS. I also need to specify the dataset and file name. However, since this is a ZOS box that we are transferring to, we only need to specify it in the file name section. In this case, the username we are transferring to is Benman and the file name is test. So we select slash slash benman.test. Next, I'm going to instruct MQ File Transfer Edition to automatically convert the text between the text formats of the platforms. So from the Windows XP text format, ASCII, to Ipsidic, the ZOS text format, so that the text can still be read after the transfer. Obviously, I can move other types of files in binary transfer mode without the automatic conversion. Other options in the wizard enable me to schedule my transfer for a specific time, or I can execute my transfer conditionally using a trigger. But let's run this transfer now. When I hit Finish, MQ File Transfer Edition will deploy the transfer for me to the source and destination agents and start the transfer. So let's transfer the file. So our transfer has been deployed. We can see its progress in this window and as it completes we'll see an entry in our transfer audit log. The transfer is now finished. Let's see the log entry. This log could be archived for audit purposes. Now let's access the ZOS box to see the transferred file. Here is the dataset list. As we can see before the transfer the test file did not exist. If we refresh the display we can see the file was transferred successfully. If we open the file, we can see that not only has it been transferred, the text has been converted so that it is still readable. So that's how we use the graphical tooling to move transfers. Let's use the command line interface provided with WebSphere MQ File Transfer Edition to send the file back from our ZOS machine to the Windows XP machine. The command we need is called FTE Create Transfer. We need to specify the name of the source agent, Agent ZOS, and its queue manager, QMZO. We also need to specify the destination agent, Agent Windows and its queue manager FTEQM. 
We also need to remember to convert between the text formats by specifying the options dash T text. We also need to specify the place where we want the file to end up on the Windows system. In this case it's C FTE jobs end testfile.txt. Now we need to specify the name of the file to be transferred on the ZOS machine. Since Benman is the default user, we only need to specify the name of the file which is slash slash test. Now we hit enter and once again the transfer is automatically deployed and started. And our log is updated with the transfer so that we can confirm the transfer has completed successfully. And as we can see here, our file has successfully ended up back on the Windows machine. As we can see, it has been successfully transferred back between the two text formats. We've just scratched the surface of the features of WebSphere MQ File Transfer Edition to show you how easy it is to create reliable, managed file transfers using the proven MQ transport. Why not find out more at ibm.com slash WebSphere MQ slash file transfer. Thanks for watching.